There's a new development tonight in the ongoing saga involving North Carolina A&T and a student athlete who says she was raped. The university says two of the head cheer coaches have resigned. It's the same coaching staff. Raina G says ignored her rape allegations when she told them when she told them, which is a violation of Title IX. Following our reports, the university started an investigation and benched the cheer team. Tonight, WFMY News 2's Jessica Winters is looking into the future of the cheer program and has reaction from G. Raina G posted this letter to social media detailing her alleged rape and her coach's handling of her reporting it and has always said it was her ultimate goal for her cheer coaches to be fired. While the university tells me that coach Audra and coach Glenn did not get fired, they resigned. Raina says she is happy with that, but truth be told, she says she shouldn't have even had to come to me to WFMY for help. She says a and should have helped her from the get go. I don't want nobody else to have to go through this big whoop -la to get results. Nobody should have to post a letter about what they're going through. Nobody should have to go on the news, do thousands of interviews to get something done. The University Athletics Department sent out a statement announcing some changes to the A&T cheer program. It reads in part, a search will begin to identify a new coach or coaches. Sean Hendricks will oversee the program on an interim basis. Raina says it's what she wanted, but it's still bittersweet to see Coach Glenn and Coach Audra go. I mean, I know you shouldn't celebrate somebody getting resigned, but like this is a different type of situation. Like we had to see some changes. I wish them the best, but I think this was the right decision that was made. When I asked A&T if the coaches resigned as a direct result of the investigation, a spokesperson said they couldn't go into details about personnel matters. Neither the blue or gold squads will be cheering for the rest of the season, including the MEAC tournament. As for the alleged rape by a senior student, Raina says it's still an open investigation. Raina filed a report with both University and Greensboro Police back in November. 